What's going on, you guys? Pet Platypus here, and it's time to talk about Seven Deadly Sins, chapters 144 and 145. When they said it was going to be a double chapter, I just figured that meant that 144 was going to be, like, extra long, but no, it's actually two chapters, and they came out early, so this is coming out a day late. Apologies, but I didn't know the chapters were out. I didn't even check. So, anyways, live reaction time to two chapters. This is going to be a bitch to edit, but whatever. All right, we got cover of... Uh, Whatever magazine Seven Deadly Sins is in, they're on the cover, that's nice. Ooh, nice color page, we got Bon. I could give two shits about you bastards being part of the Ten Commandments, you committed the sin of making my woman suffer. This guy, he doesn't know the Ten Commandments at all, though, so, like, yeah, he's not intimidated by what they said at all. Like, if he was with everyone else before and then heard that these guys were part of the Ten Commandments, he'd probably be a little bit, well, I don't know, maybe he wouldn't be worried. Wow, she has pink hair and a pink outfit, I would not have called that. And Garen looks pretty much how I would expect. He's a little bit more green, but... Yeah. She's pink, though. That's very weird. I, for some reason, I thought she'd be like a dark outfit with, like, white hair. Whatever. Let's keep going. Got another color page. Really nice colors. Wow, that's a really nice fall-autumn background. But anyways, the actual chapter. No, we gotta go through the fan art. Okay, never mind. There isn't any good. Alright, what's he doing? He's grabbing... Oh, he got his, like, nunchuck thing. He doesn't like Thor, you know? Like, I just realized it's, like, it's so similar to Thor when he grabs that. That's a fascinating trick. You're a mere human threatening us to take commandments. Oh, he's already behind him. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's pretty much confirmed Bond will be able to regenerate against these guys because he just got split in half completely. Yeah, he can definitely regenerate. Whoa, Garen. I know he's strong, but I just, when you realize how strong, it just makes a whole fucking canyon. Garen, I still had some things I wish to discuss with him. That pathetic weakling. He's still been in shape about. Where's Bonnet? He's going to regenerate. This is the wound that goddamn traitor left me, Dan Meliotis. Oh, he's still pissed off about what happened with Meliotis. Speaking of which, why the hell didn't you chase after him? Rained your magic, all your magic power. That story will be a different ending. So he does not have all his magic power back. Well, well, I am feeling. Especially uh, me. Yeah, he did get his ass kicked by the old captain. A traitor to you demons, I see. He did mention something bad happened. Are you still alive after I cleaved your body in two? And yes, he is. Okay, so he can regen against these guys. That gives him a much better chance of fighting them. But he'll probably still need to steal their strength if he can. So Meliodas has been keeping himself busy with an interesting hobby. Tell me, are you... It's a collection of rare beings such as yourselves. We're just a bunch of fun-loving goons that absolutely enjoy wiping the floor with pieces of shit, such as you two. Why does he always have the music note at the end of his dialogue? I've never questioned it, but it's so weird. Is he, like, singing all of his dialogue? That'd be annoying. And that's how it goes. And I think he just got his head blown open. Yeah. Garen just fucking blew up his head. Yeah, so Bond's not doing so good. I mean, he'll heal from it, but he's, like, not exactly putting up much of a fight. I don't know if you're a zombie or a vampire or what, but pulverizing your head should do the trick. Nope. This is the first time I've ever seen a human resurrect themselves after getting their head smashed. Is this his magic power? Magic power vanishes the end of the person dies, which means this is some special trait only his body possesses. Is he just going to say he drank from the fairy fountain? Probably not. But they have no idea why he's immortal, which is interesting. Uh, I guess they don't know about the fairy fountain, or they're just assuming that a human wouldn't have been able to drink from it. Well, to make amends for calling you a pathetic weakling, I'll allow you to hit me with any single attack. How about it? Keep this little game up. Sooner or later, your body's going to pay the price. Just think if it's a handicap. He's going to use one single attack on him. I'm guessing he's probably going to steal his energy. Maybe. 
Garen Truth never goes back on his word. Bond did some crazy fucking, like, Bruce Lee flips. Hunter Feast. I don't know if he's done this before. Maybe it's a different translation of the name, but I don't recognize it. What did he do? I won't be holding back. I can hit you as hard as I want. Oh, fucking shit. He just kicked him in the gut so hard. Alright, what's Bond doing now? Oh, an uppercut. Nice. Or like he did like a fucking nunchuck whip thing. He must have stolen his energy. And he's going to hit the chick. Yeah, get owned. Oh, she like shielded herself. That's kind of cool. She like wrapped up in like a little ball and bounced. That's unique. Alright, so Garen's going at him. He's still, he's owning him though. He's landing all these hits. I don't know how much damage he's doing, but... So yeah, he must have stolen his energy, if I had to guess. Garen's movements are far too lethargic, and yet he seems... Yeah, he stole his strength. Alright, that's awesome. It would appear that he has plundered the strength from all the living things within a hundred foot radius of his body. Whoa! Just, whoa, that's... Holy shit, because I thought... Alright, Bond, you're, like, way more overpowered than I was expecting. He has stolen his primary physical strength and all of his... Worst matchup. If we had Barler's Demon Eye here, I'm sure we'd be able to know for certain, but my guess is that his power right now, his power level is probably... even greater than yours. Okay, so yeah, Bond's, like, fucking OP as fuck right now. Alright. What's wrong, demons? We haven't finished our dance yet. Alright, and that's the end of the chapter. Cool that there's going to be a second one. Okay, well, that chapter by itself was pretty badass, honestly. Uh, the artwork was great. And Bon, doing what he did, is very insane. Because uh, I expected him to just take power from Garen, because when he took power from Meliodas, he got really, really strong. He was able to overpower him, well, until Meliodas went into his demon mode, but... Now we have this, where he's like, I'm just going to take some strength from, like, a hundred different people without even asking. That, really badass. And we got a really cool chapter cover of him fighting Garen, and her. Didn't see her at first. So, yeah. That was a really good chapter. Let's see what happens here. There's the fan art. Skip. Whoa, I can't even tell what's happening. It's like slashes and crazy shit going on. The magical power that he steals from opponent's strength to increase his own... It's a nefarious, even for a thief. On top of that, he's immortal, and his strength is unfair. That's it. Okay. If he beats What's-Her-Name, though, he's gonna lose What's-Her-Name Elaine. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's just owning him fucking, like, Bruce Lee, fucking Kenshiro nunchuck style. Don't get so cocky, you damn human. Man, I don't know what kind of power the old captain has, but... I figured that at the very least he'd be able to fuck up. Well then why don't you just steal some more power then? Just drain his power to the point where he's rendered helpless, then finish him off. That's what I would do. But you won't do that, will you? Warrior's pride. Is maximum threshold. Alright, so there's some limitation to it, maybe. She's theorizing that Bond has a limit to how much power he can put inside of himself. It seems you're beginning to get a little short of breath. There's perhaps a limit to how long you can continue its effect. She smiled at him and then fucking shielded herself. Or no, that's not what she did. A cocoon. She shielded both of them inside. On some fucking Bartolomeo shit. What the heck is this black dome? I've got a terrible feeling. That's Elaine talking. I apologize, as I would... A fool, I would... So you're buying yourself time until my magic power runs out. Even so, no matter what... It's impossible to kill me. Alright, she's kind of explaining her little faith thing. I don't know what her, like... I wonder if she has, like, a rule, like, uh... Garen does, where it's like... 
you know, you lie in front of him, you turn to stone, I wonder if she has something similar. Everyone keeps some kind of faith deep within their hearts that they believe in, be it in a god, the sword, a lover, something very precious to them. What are you talking about? Alright, this is actually really interesting. But people's hearts are weak, even the slightest sign of adversity, they so easily lose their faith. This is bad. No matter who it is, all faithless that stand before me have their eyes burned out. Okay, that's probably not going to happen to Bond, but we'll see what happens. Stay back, get away from me. You're supposed to be dead. You say something, you love me so. You're a monster, I don't know anymore. And this guy's eyes just burned out from, like, a distance, unless this is a flashback, but I think, I don't know, doesn't matter. When your lover's irrational rage bore its fangs towards you, you never faltered or wavered, not even for a moment. Genuine good soul. Bond the undead, although your body of yours may be immortal, and something's happening to him. If your body dies, your soul embarks towards the other world, but if yours... Is she gonna, like, push his soul out of his body? Because that's what it sounds like she's gonna do. Yeah, that's what she's doing. And she's grabbing it. And Paige is taking a second to load. Flashback. Bond the undead. He's getting flashbacks of, like, everybody he knew. There's fucking Hawk. There's fucking Wolf Guy, whose name I forget. What's his soul gonna do? Try to get back inside? Or is this, like, some sad quote-unquote death? Well, what the hell are they doing? Hendrickson has, like, a suit on. Meliodas is running the bar. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Meliodas sensed something, though. His soul slipped away, and Garen got it. And Garen bit his soul, and that's the end of the chapter. Okay, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but that's a pretty damn good cliffhanger. Those were two really good chapters. Uh, the second one I don't think was as good as the first one, mainly because I don't really care about the girl yet too much. Her powers are okay. She brings people back from the dead and all that, but she's just... Garen looks cooler, I like his attitude a little bit more, he's more of a dick, um, the fighting was really, really cool, but Bon, and the soul, and fucking getting bit like that, I mean, these guys are just so stupidly overpowered, I don't know what's gonna happen, uh, Meliodas, I think, took notice of what was going on, I don't know how fast he can get there, uh, maybe he'll save him, I'm not sure, but yeah, I don't think Bon's gonna die, I don't think this is like... You know, oh, all these flashbacks, and then Bond gets bit, and he gets killed. I don't think so. I mean, he did meet up with Elaine again, and he did meet his father, so there's some character closure there. But I feel like he has to meet up with Meliodas again and talk to him and apologize and all that stuff. So, yeah, plus he's just a main character, and shows just do not kill main characters. Anime, manga don't kill main characters almost ever. So, yeah, I'm going to go with he'll be fine. But yeah, it was really, really good. Um, not much, too much to say, like, you know, story progression-wise. I mean, I guess the fight did go places within these two chapters, and then you look at the artwork and, you know, all that stuff. I mean, they're really good. I'd probably give the first one around, like, an 8.5 to a 9 out of 10. It was really, really entertaining. And then I'd probably give the second one, like, a 7.5 to an 8. It was still very good. Definitely a fantastic cliffhanger. So, yeah, but we didn't really find out any, like, big information or anything, it was just kind of a good couple of chapters, really good first one, pretty good second one, yeah, I don't know, just trying to think of anything else I have to say, but yeah, this video's probably going to be long enough, so I'll give the first one an 8.5, I'll give the second one an 8, thanks for watching this video, tell me what you guys thought of these two Seven Deadly Sins chapters in the comment section below, follow me on Instagram, I post things there sometimes. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, that would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you like what you've seen here, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.